Yesterday I watched one of Johnny Boy's videos. It was a flip reset funny one. In this video there is this guy called Evample and he is probably the best at flip resets at this point. He doesn't only do one flip reset in a shot, somehow he pulls off multiple resets in one shot. So that made me wonder, how the hell is he doing that? There must be a mechanic behind the way he dodges after one of his resets. And yes, I'm pretty sure there is. It's called the stall. It's sort of a flip cancel. The flip cancel is when you pull your analog stick to the opposite side right after a front or a back flip. Just in harder, I guess? So after a bit of research, I found out that Evample is a keyboard and mouse player. And even though I play on a controller, I went into free play and tried out the stall on keyboard and mouse. I always recommend doing that because it makes you understand the mechanic of it more and it makes it easier to copy the exact thing on your controller. Especially because it turns out that the stall is actually a lot easier on keyboard and mouse. So if you're a keyboard and mouse player, lucky you. Every time I find out that one particular mechanic is easier on keyboard and mouse, like the half flip is, I try to figure out why that is the case. But let's get to the tutorial part. When you want to do the stall, you have to do multiple things at a time. To make you understand easier, I'm only gonna explain this for one side. It works the exact same way for the other side, but obviously with opposite directions. You have to press multiple keys at an exact time. You have to jump, press air roll left. If you do not have this as a keybind, I highly recommend it since it makes the half flip a lot easier and you need it for this mechanic. The third part is pushing your analog stick to the right side. So jumping, pressing arrow left, pushing your analog stick to the right side. These are the basic things you have to do to get the stall. And it sounds pretty easy, but it's actually extremely tough. So I tr will try to give you some tips that may help you figure it out quicker or make you understand better what exactly you have to do. Future Constance here. So after watching a few of Ivanpil's live streams, I actually noticed that he does not only do the simple, well simple, the stall flip. He actually also arrowed right back in there, so it looks like his car isn't even moving at all. I will, I will show you this right here, but first of all, I would recommend you to put another key binding. And I'm talking about arrow right, right here. I actually do not, do not have that binded, which makes it a bit harder for me. And it works as well, but just for you to make it easier, maybe you already have it binded, I would probably recommend that. Um, just bind this as well and it makes it easier. Because you do not have to pull the analog stick to arrow to the other side again. So I will show you real quick what he does. He does the normal stall flip. And then he arrows right back in there, which I just fucked up because I do not have arrow right binded. Hey <laughs> hey, and I rolled it to the wrong direction. <laughs> I will show you again. That's why I recommended this as well. Yep, and there we go. It does actually look like I'm not moving at all, but I am flicking and that would make it easier for me to get under the ball again. Obviously I suck ass and I can actually do multiple flip resets at a time. But this is how you would potentially, theoretically, do that. <laughs> and yeah, let's get back to the video. Woohoo! There are two main differences between keyboard and mouse and playing with a controller. First of all, it is easier to do one certain flip repeatedly because there are only that many ways of doing a flip on keyboard and mouse. Whilst you always get a slightly different flip just by pulling the analog stick a bit more to another side than you did last time on controller. The second big difference is the dead zone. On keyboard and mouse there is no dead zone. There are two different types of dead zones. The dodge dead zone and the controller dead zone. The dead zone always decides how far you have to pull your analog stick to a certain side to get a flip dodge dead zone or to change the direction of your car controller dead zone. Meaning having a 0.5 dodge dead zone makes you do a flip as soon as you pull your stick halfway meaning 50% to the specific side. And obviously it doesn't work on a keyboard since you cannot press a key halfway in. You either way press it or you don't. But let's get back to the topic. What does that mean for the stall? So here comes the dead zone into play. It takes you longer to pull your analog stick to the right side than it takes you to push the jump or arrow left button. On keyboard, every key you press takes you the same amount of time. For example, pressing the T button takes you the same amount of time than pressing the B, the enter, the tap 
everything. So you never get a slightly timing difference while pressing more than one button at a time. That is the reason why pulling off the stall is so much easier on keyboard and mouse, because you do not have the extra time of pulling an analog stick. Pulling the joystick is a slightly bigger effort that destroys your timing, so you don't do everything at the same time anymore. I find lowering the dead zone helpful, because having a lower dead zone means you don't have to pull it as far, so that makes it easier to do everything simultaneously. But be careful, having a higher dead zone normally prevents you from accidentally backflipping, so it, it is a lot safer to keep it the way you have it right now if you do not have a problem with backflipping. So if you do not want to change the dead zone, then maybe try to pull the analog stick slightly earlier than you press your buttons to make up for the lost time. I noticed this time loss when you pull your analog stick is very little, so it might sound pretty ridiculous to think that this is the actual reason that it's so much harder on controller. And maybe I am wrong and it is not the reason at all. But like anyone else here, I'm just trying to figure it out and trying to find a way to make it slightly easier for you. So if you think you're doing everything correctly, but it still doesn't seem to work, I hope this helped a little bit. But it will take you a ton of practice to get the timing down and to pull it off consistently. So I wish you the best of luck in free. So if you're interested in watching live streams of me, then please check out my Twitch. But until next time and... Au revoir. So that makes it easier to do everything simultaneous. <laughs> simultaneous. Oh my god. Simul. Simultaneous. Simultaneously. 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 Simultaneously.